Hey, what's up validators? David Feeder here. Uh, back at you today with a quick tutorial video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to update your Pulse Chain validator if you've already got one. Uh, today there was a there's a bunch of new patches that just came out for the Pulse Chain like an hour ago. Um, I just installed them on my validator. They're working good and these are like performance improvements. Um, so these ones are, are good to do. These are important. These are these will help people, um, especially people who've been like missing attestations, which I've definitely noticed on on some of them. Um, so this hopefully should help with this patch. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, then coming soon this weekend, I'm going to work on my new like ultimate validator 101 guide from start to finish, like if from zero to hero. Uh, that's coming soon. I still have to like work that out in the lab. And then before the end of the weekend, I'll have that video out. So it'll be from beginning to end everything you need. All right, so I'm just on a little demo box here. Um, this is like you about to. This would be your validator if you have one. Um, before we get started, let me do a quick hashtag ad and a shout out to a, another validator and a client of mine, uh, HangTimeGear.com, and he's got an invention called the Koala, and this is like a leash for your phone, for your cell phone, if you're like a rock climber or if you go fishing, if you're on a boat, it's like, it's a tether, basically a leash for your phone. So that way you don't drop it or lose it. Um, and it works. He sent me one to try out. I, it actually works. It's cool. Like it's, you're not going to lose your phone. It, it works. And if it ever breaks, it's got like a lifetime warranty. Like if it gets snagged on a tree while you're riding your bike and it snaps in half, they'll send you a new one for free. So pretty cool. If you want to not break your phone, if you're an outdoors adventure kind of person. So pretty cool. So hangtimegear.com, check it out. All right, so to update your validator, what you have to do is, I've already done all the work basically. If you're using my scripts, all you gotta do is go to gitlab.com slash David Feeder, and then go down, scroll all the way down to the Pulse Chain Validators project, click on that. Now I've already, I did the updates here. You see 16 minutes ago, 17 minutes ago for these, these two right here. Now, if you're already up and running, if you're already a validator, what you want is this bottom script, the Pulse Chain mainnet shutdown and startup script. This will actually do the updates. Every time you do this, every time you run these commands in order, like copy and paste into the terminal, this will download the latest version of Pulse Chain. All right, so we're gonna click on the Pulse Chain mainnet shutdown and startup.txt. And then what I like to do is click the little download button over here on the right. And then we're going to double click this text file that showed up at the top here. And then this is our copy. So now what I do is I save the file in the top right. Or sorry, hit the menu button at the top right. I do a save as. And we want to save a copy on the desktop. So click on desktop over here on the left. And then we're going to click the green save button. Okay. Now it'll take any changes. All right, so we're just gonna read the instructions and go line by line here. So starting line one instructions, it says use line three to stop your validator before powering down the nook, which is like the computer. Um, use lines seven through 13 to start up again. Use 17 through 21 to watch the logs in real time. And on line nine and 11, change the Ethereum or Pulse chain address to yours, otherwise it burns for your fee rewards. So we'll, we'll do that first. That's what you would do first. I would recommend like start with this. Basically just go ahead and change your address to right at the end of line nine. And then right at the end of line 11, you just paste in your pulse chain address right out of MetaMask. So that way the, the fees, like recipients, like the block rewards go to your wallet. All right, so you make those changes. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the commands here. So line three here, this is going to stop all of the Docker containers and then it's going to like delete them and prune them. So we're just going to copy line three and then I'm going to open the terminal. And then if you want, you can drag the terminal window to the left side of the screen off the screen and it snaps to the left Then you can grab the text file by the top and then you can drag it off to the right and that snaps to the right side. So now they're half and half. So now we can just do a nice easy copy paste. All right, so we paste it in, hit enter, type in our password. Okay, this is a demo. I don't have Docker on this computer, 
but this would go ahead and you would see it would stop the validator, it would stop the beacon, and it will stop Geth, and then it will delete them. And then that's that's cleared. So that now that we've deleted everything, your validator is stopped, it's not running anymore. Now we're gonna go down to line seven, and you run line seven. So we're just gonna copy and paste, and then hit enter. And then for you, it will start up. And then we do the same thing with line nine. We're just gonna go ahead and run line number nine. Just kind of, uh, kind of got to watch out because sometimes the little cursor stuck all the way in the end there. So I like to use the keyboard sometimes to highlight. All right, so we're just going to copy and paste. Then that starts the beacon. And then we do line 11. And I'm just pretending here because this is a demo. But And then that would do that. Then we run line 13. This sets all the Docker containers to automatically stop and start. If the computer ever like lost power and then you powered it back on, that just makes sure that everything all automatically runs. And then the last three lines are just so you could watch what's happening. So if you're already a validator, you could really just run the last line if you want to watch the actual validator container like stamping the blocks and doing its thing. And that's, that's it. That's all you have to do. That'll update you. You just follow this script. Just copy and paste those couple things you're done you're on the latest version congratulations um because one of the major updates was a flag for the beacon right here this is a new one that i've already added so i've already read the notes from the ethereum guys and they added this new feature called aggregate and parallel um basically it just lets it do it uses more cpus cores in parallel so it's faster so it's it's just an improvement this just makes it better so this is an upgrade um pretty cool so that's about it guys um yeah so coming soon i will do a new video on validating 101 like the whole thing from soup to nuts that's coming very soon i promise um i know i've been dragging my feet on it but I've just been hibernating for the bear market i don't i don't know i hope you've all been enjoying this bear market oh boy i like to hibernate personally when the bear market comes and do other things with my life you know while i'm hodling and mining um but yeah so and otherwise um, yeah, so so if you're already a validator, you're doing it yourself, great. If you're running it at home and using my script, awesome. Now, if you're not a validator yet, but you want to learn more, in the meantime, you can go to validator, E-A-L-I-D-A-T-R, validatorstore.com. This is my website. And if you scroll down, you can see here I've got the, the hardware kits still available. If you want to run your own at home, I you can order them from me. I've got everything you need. All this hardware right here is in the box. And then you just unbox it, set it up, and you're ready to rock. Um, that's $2,000. I can only ship to the United States. Um, and then I also do cloud hosting. Now, if you're international, if you're not in the U.S., or if, you, if you're in Puerto Rico, there's internet's not great the electricity is not great um or you just don't want the hassle at all i offer a cloud uh validator service where basically i take care of everything for you i run the computer and i, I do it all <laughs> um all you have to do is bring your pulse and make your stakes and everything else is taken care of all the details are here on the site how it all works um so that's an option for folks who want just the hands-off approach and they can mine with their pulse and then I'm going to make a separate video coming soon on these special uh, routers right here. Um, if you're running at home and you've only, let's say you got like a cable internet, you know, you got Comcast. Um, that's cool. Um, but if, if you lose internet, you can get a special router here and you can get a cell phone card. So if the Comcast cable ever internet ever fails, this will automatically fail over to a cell phone data plan like a sim card built in so that way you can maintain internet and these have generally like uh, these are like cell phone towers have diesel generators so even during hurricanes or power storms or something crazy you'll still have internet so that's why these are really cool um so i've so f for all this equipment i've partnered with mobilemusthave.com um eric is the founder here uh actually was one of uh, a founder of a IT company I used to work at, great guy, known him for years. So he founded mobilemusthave.com. They actually just won the PepLink Partner of the Year Award because uh, I think they were selling the most of these uh, 
these firewalls, which are really cool. I mean, it's cool stuff. There's two choices. You get the big boy, which holds two SIM cards, plus all these ports on the back. You can get fiber, you can get cable internet. It does everything. And then they have the, the single version, which just has like one internet and one cell phone card. This is actually, I got the smaller one for myself. Um, but they both work the same. They both work really great. So I'll have another video on how to set that up. I'll show as much as I can. Um, and then they have this cell phone plan right here where I think it's a terabyte of data a month. So it's, it's good for emergencies. You know, you could probably run your validator off this for a, like a week. No problem, probably something like that. I'll, you know, so this is just for like emergencies. So, but pretty cool. All right. So that's all I've got for now, guys. So if you're a validator, go ahead, do your updates. And I will see you all again very soon. All right. Bye-bye.